Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter six, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So before we do, I want you guys to pause, take pictures, do whatever you need to do for King Henry. Okay, and then for our robot, okay, and all you need is the robot, not the words that were next to it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna zoom back out and we're gonna get started. Okay. So, we are going to get started with this. Okay, so one and two are already done for you. So we're going to go 48 ounces and we're going to go to pounds. Okay, so 48 ounces. When I know there are 16 ounces in one Pound, okay, remember the LB is pound. Okay, so I know it kind of looks like 16, kind of looks like B, whatever it is, LB. Okay, all right. So, what we need to do now is cancel out ounces so that we know that we're in pounds. That's good, that's where I want to be. And now, so when I multiply straight across, I get 48 over 16. Well, 16 goes into 48 three times. Three pounds, guys. Okay. Okay. All right. Do another one. Okay. Grams to decigrams. Okay. Grams to decigrams. Just means we're moving that decimal one time to the right. Okay. So right now there'd be a decimal after the 30. That just means it would be. 300 because we would have to do it one more time, giving it another zero. Oh, I don't know why my phone's at me. Okay. So, so from tablespoons to pounds. Goodness, they sure gave it to you this time around, huh? Oh, sorry, tons to pounds. That's not tablespoons to pounds. That's tons to pounds. I always do that every year. Okay. So, five tons. Okay. When one ton, is 2,000 pounds. Okay. Okay. So five times two is 10. And then I've got those three zeros. Okay. So we canceled out our tons. That's good. We wound up in pounds. That's good. 10,000 pounds. And I'm going to try and fit that in there. Okay. All right. Do another one. Okay. Okay. So seventeen point two hectograms. Hectograms. And we're going to grams. So we're gonna go one, two times to the right. So one, two, so one thousand seven hundred and twenty grams. Okay. All right. And 400 pounds, when I know that 2,000 pounds is one ton, okay? So we are going to have to divide, okay? All right, so first, when I multiply, I'm going to get 400 over 2,000, okay? Pounds cancels out. I'm left with tons. That's great. So here's the good thing about these, okay? You can take off the matching zeros, okay? So now it is 4 divided by 20. Well, obviously, 20 doesn't go into 4. So I'm going to put a decimal. And then I'm going to add a zero, and 20 goes into 40, 2 times 2 times 20, oh, sorry, 2 times 20, subtract and get zero. So, 0. 0.2 tons. Okay? All right. You guys are going to do number eight. We're going to do number nine together. Okay? So, number nine. Says 
87 ounces, and we need to go to pounds and ounces. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start with what we know, which is 87 ounces. Okay. I know that in one pound, there are 16 ounces. So now when I multiply straight across, I get 87 over 16. That means I need to divide 87 by 16. Okay. So over here, I'm going to write down my multiples of 16 because I only know up to about 64. Actually, I know about 80, but that's okay. So 16, 32, 48, 64, 80. Uh, okay, hold on. Um, and then 96. Okay, and let's stop there for now. Okay, so 16 into 87, best we're going to get is 80. That's five times. Okay, because it doesn't go into eight. Okay. Okay, so now here's the fun part, guys. Okay, I have seven left over, right? So the five is going to go per pound, and our leftover is how many ounces we have, okay? So, five pounds, seven ounces, done, okay? Doing okay, guys, okay? All right, you guys get to do 10 and 11. We're going to go down and do 12. Okay. Maggie bought 52 ounces of swordfish selling for $6.92 per pound. What was the total cost? Well, first we need to turn ounces into pound if we're being charged by the pound. Okay. So 52 ounces. And we're going to pounds. And lucky for us, we can go straight from ounces to pounds. So I'm going to start with what I know, which is 52 ounces. And I know 16 ounces are in one pound. Okay, so now I can cancel out ounces, which is good. I need to. And I'm left with pounds, which is good. So now I need to divide. 16. Oh, I don't know. I just put 16 in the, inside the box. Okay. 16 into 52. Okay. Well, again, I know my 16 is up to about 80, so. So I'm going to go 16, 32, 48. Well, 48 is probably as close as I'm going to get, right? So I'm going to go three times, just 48, subtract, I'm going to get four. That's pretty good. Okay. So now I'm going to put a decimal, move that decimal up, okay? And I'm going to add a zero, bring it down. Now, 16. 32. I'm definitely not getting 48 in there, so it's just going to be 2. Get 8 left over. And when I add another 0 and I bring it down, that's 5 times. So 16 times 5 is 80, and I get 0 left over. So now I have 3.25 pounds. Okay. All right. And I'm being charged $6.92 per pound. Boom. I have to multiply them. Okay. All right. So 2 times 5. 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay. Tick, tack, toe. 9 times 5 is 45. Carry the 4. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4 is 22. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 2 is 29. Okay. All right. Tick, tack, double O. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry our 3. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15. Carry our 1. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19. We're going to add all that up, okay? All right, zeros. 5 and 5 is 10. Carry that 1. 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 2 is 9, okay? 
9 plus 5, 14, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 9 is 12, carry the 1. And so now I have to go in 1, 2, 3, 4 places, 1, 2, 3, 4 places. And when we're talking about money, we don't have four places after the decimal. We only have two, and those are zeros, so we can just cross them off. So $22.49. Okay, all of that is your work. Okay, go ahead and write it down. All right, pause this, do what you need to do to be able to write that down. Okay, all right. So now we're going to go over number 13, and it says three bunches of grapes have masses of 1,000 centimeters. Masses, that means that each one of those has a mass of 1,000, okay, centigrams, okay. Oh, nope, sorry. Not each one of them has 1,000 centigrams, one has 1,000 decigrams, and one has 1,000 grams. What is the total combined mass of the grapes in kilograms? All right. So, oh, goodness. So, first, we need to make them all into the same thing, okay? I would make them all into grams, okay? So, centigrams to grams, centi grams, okay, I need to move it, oops, sorry, one, two times, okay, which is going to give me 10 grams, okay, decigrams, I just have to move one time, that's going to be 100, and then I already have 1,000 grams, okay, so now when I add all that up, zero, one, 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 and 1,110 grams, but I need to make that into kilograms, okay? So, from grams to kilograms, I have to move it one, two, three times, okay? So, right now, my decimal would be right there. I need to move it one, two, three times, so 1.11 kg, kilograms. Okay, not so bad, guys. Okay, you gotta get all of these into the same same unit and then move them over to kilograms. Add them up, move them over to kilograms. Okay, we're gonna go on to the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check. Okay, and we're gonna go down and do spiral review. Okay, there are 23 students in math class, 12 of them are boys. What is the ratio of girls to total number of students? Well, first we need to do 23 and we need to take away that 12 to find how many girls there are, okay? Three minus two is one and two minus one is one. So there's 11 girls, okay? 11 girls and it says to total number of students. Well, there's 23 students. That's it, guys. Don't make it harder than it's gotta be, okay? So, Miguel walked three miles in 54 minutes. At this rate, how long will it take him to walk five miles? So, first we gotta find out how long it takes him to go one mile. So, 54 minutes by three miles, okay? That'll tell us how long it's gonna take him, to, that how, how long it took him to walk one mile, okay? So, three goes into five, one time, one times three is three, subtract, get two. Bring down my four, okay? Three goes into 24, eight times, eight times three is 24. Okay, so 18 minutes per mile, right? But five miles, boom. Okay, five times eight, 40, carry our four. Five times one is five, plus four is 90, 90 minutes. Write your work down, guys, okay? All right. Marco borrowed $150 from his brother. He's paid back 30% so far. How much money does he still owe? Well, if he's paid back 30%, then he still owes 70%. So 70% of $150, right? So 150 times 0.70, right? See those two zeros on the end? Boom, one, two, okay? Seven times five, 35, carry that three. Seven times one is seven, plus three is 10. So 
Sorry, guys, I didn't realize you couldn't see that. So then we need to go in one, two times for the decimal, one, two times. He owes $105 still. Okay. All right. Write right, your work down. It's important. Okay. Let me turn my page. It says, how many milliliters are equivalent to 2.7 liters? So, I'm going to write down 2.7, and then I'm going to go over here, and milliliters, liters. Okay, so if I have 2.7 liters, I have to move that decimal one, two, three times to the right. One, two, three. 2,700 milliliters. Okay, done. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 6.3. Come on back for 6.4. See you soon.